Hi artist friends. Today I am going to teach you how to draw Pete the Cat. So I hope you enjoyed um, the Pete the Cat story with the sunglasses. And I'm going to use, I well I just did this one and I use both crayon and marker in it. So you can use either one and then I'm going to show you something cool that you can do with the marker. So get a white sheet of paper. Okay, and you want it horizontal. This is horizontal. You don't want it vertical. You want it horizontal. And I'm going to get my black crayon here. And what you're going to do first is just come in. This is the whole sheet of paper. Just come in a little bit ways, about halfway up. And you're going to make, and you could do this in pencil first if you don't want to just jump in and use marker or crayon. I'm just going to jump in and use crayon. But what you're going to do is you're going to make two ovals. One here, and one here. And they're about the same size. They don't have to be perfect. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to make another oval and outline each oval. Then you're going to make a curved line in between the two ovals. And then you're going to do an outline of that too. And then over here on the right hand side you're going to do a little square and a little square over here. And that's part of the glasses you know that you see like right here and right here. Okay, come over to the left hand side where the, the left oval is and come up and do a straight line. And then come from the top and do a line down, don't go all the way down, just to be about there. This is going to be the top of Pete's head. Then you're going to come over, do another line up, and another line straight down. Come over here to the left again and do a little line like that. And come over here and do a little line like that. And we're going to do a diagonal line from here to about here. And this is going to be the bottom of Pete's face. So come here and go down there and stop. Come over here. Go down here, stop. And we have his head. All we have to do is his neck now, so we're going to go down and do his neck with just two lines that go all the way down to the end of the paper. Now he's missing a nose, so we're going to do an upside down triangle for his nose right here. And all that's left is the whiskers. Color in your sunglasses black. And then to the other one. This looks like Pete the Cat, doesn't it? So we're going to talk about the background now. Um, so a mine, I did a background of some place I like. I think I told you guys I like going to the mountains. So I drew the mountains in the background and I drew, drew a road here. And we want Pete the Cat to be in the foreground. So we want him to be up front, closer to us. And we want the background to be smaller um, than it actually is. Because we know if the mount, a mountain is really lot bigger than this and um, and put clouds and if you see right here see how I put the cloud right behind Pete the cat his ears sticking up this I'm um, overlapping him over to the clouds a lot of times artists when they start working um, they won't put, they won't overlap at all they'll just do the cloud over here just to avoid Pete but uh, try try going behind Pete and making some clouds or making something else, an airplane, whatever. Um, just to show that we have a background here and that we have Pete in the foreground. 
Um, so what I'm going to do, I'll show you. First, we're going to do a horizon line. And this is the line where the ground um, is it essentially the ground line. So we're going to make a line here and over here. And we definitely could tell that's behind Pete the Cat, right? So now um, let's make some mountains. I'll make some pointy mountains this time. And you can do anything you want behind Pete. And then I'm going to make some smaller mountains way out here. If you did the llama um, last week, we did something similar. So I have some mountains here. I'm going to put a sun. And I'm going to do that cloud behind the ears. So I'm just going to start over here, right next to Pete. And do a cloud. And just make sure that I don't go on Pete's ear. And I'm going to come over here and do another cloud. Okay, what do you think? If I want, I can draw maybe some flowers. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a flower right up here. You know, maybe I'll draw a couple flowers right up here. So this is going to be in the foreground um, with Pete. So this is right next to him. I'm liking how this is turning out. Okay. So now we can color it in. And I want to show you, friends, something that you can do if you have a washable marker. Not a Sharpie, because Sharpie's permanent. How you can tell you have a washable market marker is that it's usually going to say on the marker, washable. This one's a Crayola one. It doesn't say washable, but I think it is washable. But I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. But you could test this out on a scrap piece of paper before you do it. But what you're going to need is you're going to need a washable marker. You're going to need a little water. And you're going to need some, some Q-tips. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to color with a marker kind of fast your area that you want to do. And you want to get one of your Q-tips, dip it in the water, come over here, and blend. And what's the washable, the washable marker is going to bleed? And it almost makes like a paint. Kind of cool effect. Okay, I'm going to try this Crayola, the one that doesn't say washable on it. I'm pretty sure it's washable. So let me try this one because I want my mountains to be two different colors. Remember, you're doing, the, doing this fast. Get your clean Q tip, put it in the water, and again, blend. Yeah, this is washable. It's, it's bleeding. Remember, this is not going to work if you have Sharpies, because Sharpies aren't washable. You can go on top of it with the water. And it adds some more green if you want. Now, what you could also do is you could do both this in marker and crayon if you have marker and that's called mixed media and um, I do a lot of art in mixed media. Mixed media is when you use two or more um, art materials in a piece so we're using marker first and then using crayon so I'm going to come up here and color my sun in and 
color my daisies in. I want to work all around here. I'm going to mix marker and crayon. And um, of course, I'm going to do Pete the Cat blue because that's what Pete the Cat, um, that's what color he is. So, um, yeah, I'm going to work on this. I look forward to seeing your work. Please send it to my email address. I'll have my email address on my Google site um, so you can see it as well as in the presentation. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing your Pete the Cats. Have a great week, everybody.